Hi, I'm Mike Sullivan. Welcome to Guitar Tech, how to do it yourself. Hi, Gospel Guitarist here. Um, this would be like video number two. Um, since I've gotten the Roland GR55 guitar synthesizer, the first video I made was covering the installation of the GK3 MIDI pickup on my uh, Schecter C130th um, anniversary guitar. And in that video, I go through the entire install, pro install uh, process, um, step by step, basically. So it's about 20 minute video, but it could be worth your time to check out if you're looking into buying one of these so that you can see what's involved with it. In this video, however, I'm going to go into the next step. Um, the guitar is all plugged into the system and there are several pages, as you can see, across the top up here. We have the uh, pickup uh, settings and uh, the next one is your distance. I'll go into that. Sensitivity, velocity, nuance, and um, I think this one's down tune. I'm not sure. I haven't gone into the last three, but basically the first three for the pickup setup primarily. So I'll cover these menus here. The uh, pickup is very um, controllable as to how it plays and how your guitar plays and um, it can affect, I would imagine it, it affects your, your style and picking style as well. So if you're a sloppy player your settings are going to be probably more difficult than if you're someone who's extremely um, balanced and play with a light touch versus somebody who plays with a real heavy touch maybe. So all these settings are totally configurable. Um, as far as you know whether you're a rock player, jazz player, or whatever you're going to do with your guitar. So you want to consider all those things when you're going through the setup. So first off we have a pickup type is your first item. And if you uh, click the down arrow you'll highlight that. And there are several settings here. So if you have an older GK system, there's a GK2A. You have just a piezo. And then you have piezo F, G, L, R. These are all different brands. Like I have another Schecter that's got a piezo ghost system in my hollow body. And so when I put the MIDI equipment in it, I'm going to need this setting for that guitar. So you can set the, the pickup type that you're using. The next one you need to make sure is set right is for your scale length of your neck. So if you don't know what that is, you might want to check out um, the website to um, of your manufacturer to find out what it is. Um, ST is for Strat, and then you've got um, Les Paul, and those probably cover most of you guys out there. But for other um, guitar manufacturers, you can dial in rather specifically the millimeter setting. And it goes all the way down to, I think it was 400. So you can get 500. So from 500 to 600 and uh, I think it's 48. 648, by the way, is a standard Stratocaster length. 49.50. Okay. So it goes to 660 millimeters for your length. And you can just set it for Strat if you're running a Strat or Les Paul. Under there you have your pickup phase. So it's normal, that would be suggested. But if you are getting different interferences, you can inverse the phase. And pickup direction would be normal or reversed, depending on how you installed it on your instrument. Maybe the cord gets in the way and you gotta have the cord facing the floor instead of up towards you. So you can reverse these things here, You're, as well as the switch S1 and S2 position on your GK3. Is it normal or is it reversed? I think that would be like if, it, if you put it on your guitar upside down or something for some reason. Um, and then you got your normal pickup gain, which you can set here to balance your output. I think that this would be for your like magnetic output, because it's also feeding through your 13 pin jack. So that's it for your pickup menu. So you want to set all these things just for what you need for your guitar or sets of guitars. Oh, speaking of set, if you notice up here in the corner, it has GK set 01. So I can set this up for the guitar in my hand right now. But my other guitar, I may want to uh, set it up differently, and I will be. So in that case, I will want to go up here 
and save these settings in set one, which it does on its own. But if I want to set up my second guitar, I can go to, to the uh, change it to two and then change this out to Piezo um, G, which I'm going to need for my other guitar. And it's also a standard and everything else is normal. So now I just set that up for the guitar I'm not even using yet. But it's now set up as a preset. So, so there are 10 different sets that you can save. Which is kind of handy if you've got a lot of MIDI guitars, I guess. Okay, so if I hit the page button, I can switch over to the distance menu. Now this is governing the... Uh, as it says here, from the pickup to the bridge, each string, remember, has its own individual pickup. And you can adjust that setting from the center of the pickup to where it contacts the bridge, where the string contacts the bridge. And so on a normal tom bridge or fixed bridge, you know, the, uh, you're going to have to set your intonation, um, preferably set that up first, and then set these distances here accordingly for each string. Now mine I have it set for 10, but I've actually got string lengths going down to a point to a uh, 0 7, so I can't go to a 0 7. So what I'm going to do is rework my bridge so that I can keep the intonation correct, but I do have some leeway here to back them up a bit. So I'm going to try to get it to where the 10 setting is the closest of all the six strings, and that'll probably be my high E string. And then the other strings, as they um, need to back off, I could just say, well, this one might be an 11 and a half, this one might be a third 12, or something like that. So they'll probably be stepped back, just like when you uh, intonate your guitar, the saddles are stepped. And this, so you'll go through and set these up. This one might be an 11. So they'll be slightly changed up after I get done with it. But for now, I'm setting them all to 10 because that's the closest on my guitar. Now I mentioned in the first video when I installed the GK system um, that once you get it on the guitar that's when you're really going to start fine-tuning your setup. So I haven't quite gotten as far as fine-tuning the bridge with these settings yet. But once I adjusted these, these defaulted to 20. And once I adjusted them to 10, I could tell that the guitar plays better. So it does, it does actually affect the response. So that would be how to set the distance for each string between your bridge saddle and the middle of the pickup on the GK3. And then you hit the page button again and you come over to the sensitivity menu. And as you can see, my sensitivities are different. Um, with my playing and my string gauge, all that will come into play. I use 10s, you might use 9s, so you might want to turn your sensitivity up. If you got real thin strings, heavier strings, you're going to want to tone it down. So when you strike a string, it will read out on the mirror here. Okay? So if I play like an E chord, all the strings will come out. Now the instruction booklets saying I'm not playing with a pick right now. Normally I do, so these meter readings are a little low, and so um, you want to get it as hot as you can without flooring it on each of the six strings, and um, that's pr pretty much where they stop at the manual. But I'd have to say that after playing with this for a while, is you need to use your ears as well. Your ears are really going to be the telltale um, whether you hear your guitar being balanced out or not. So I have the first string here set to 81 because for some reason it's just quieter <laughs> than the other strings. Um, so I have it turned up a bit because to my ear it just sounds too quiet. So to your ear it might be too loud. So you know you, get, you can set this up specifically for your guitar and your playing style. And whether you're a finger player or a pick player or whatever. Um, but you want to use this to, so that you can balance out each of these strings. So that they're pretty much matched on their output. Okay. So it's pretty cool that it does this. You know, I have mine, mine fluctuate wildly depending on how I'm playing. Um, I'll notice it's extremely sensitive. 
So that's why you want to use your ears to listen to your amplifier. You'll be able to pinpoint something just on it sounds too bassy, so too muddy, too trebly. You can adjust that stuff here. So it's similar to um, your electron, your uh, magnetic pickups have adjustable pole pieces, so you can adjust the individual string volumes. And um, that's basically what this is. It's it's adjusting the string output to the way you play, so that your guitar will sound balanced. Okay. So that would be it for the sensitivity menu. And then we got the uh, velocity dynamics. I haven't gotten that far in the manual yet. Um, it's got play feel and low velocity cut. Um, go over to the nuance and you got nuance dynamics and trim. And then the, the shift. So you can shift this. Whoops, I'm shifting the wrong thing. There we go. <laughs> and it only goes down to negative five. So you can shift. I think that was the tuning. I did mess with that a while back, but now I can't remember. <laughs> so, um, so that's the uh, menus that are available to set up your GK3 on the Roland GR55. Just a real quick, this is how you do it. Tutor rolls, all this is meant to be. You can really get into the setup of this pickup physically on your guitar and tweak the way it, the way it responds, and you can get into it digitally in this machine to to also control how it responds so you're going to get it right one way or the other so if, if you can't get it there physically you can get it there electronically um so that's going to do it um for this stage of the video that's the next thing you're going to do is do everything there go through and set up your pickup so that it'll play right so if you just install your pickup i did do this by the way once I got it set up, I plugged it in, turned on my amp, and started messing around with the different settings and seeing what kind of sounds are in this thing. But it never felt right. It just did not feel right. It did not sound right. The low end got really boomy at some points and other things that didn't seem like it was tracking right. So, so you're just going to frustrate yourself if you think it. you just install the pickup and you're going to be happy with it. Okay? You have to go deep with this when you first get it and spend a lot of time with it and playing around with it. Um, to get it to where um, it's going to meet your needs and your style. You may want to use these uh, GK settings to meet different styles. Like number one could be for rock playing, where you're just going crazy and screaming lead solos. And two could be for jazz. So you, you could actually set the pickup up completely different for different styles of music, if you like. So Because they do have different needs. So... So that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and um, I shall continue to turn out more videos on this. I'll probably show the next video on how to hook up the outputs of the unit to your amplifiers because there are several options to cover there, which gets really kind of fun and interesting. So in the meanwhile, have fun and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Well, thanks for watching and see you next time on Guitar Tech, how to do it yourself.